okay guys so in this video we are going to be implementing the latest navigation drawer together with fragments in android studio so get your android studio open start a new android studio project i'm gonna name it nav drawer next select your minimum sdk blah 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 next um we'll choose navigation drawer activity here move to next finish way while that opens so i've got my project started so what you need to do next is you head over to content domain and you are going to replace this text view with a frame layout so place it right here frame layout once you are done we need to now create our fragments so we do that here we create a new fragment uh, fragment blank, blank fragment first fragment so we just want to create um, our layout fragment So my first fragment has been created. Um, I'm going to design the layout. I'll just add two buttons to it. So right here. Okay, there's one text view here. Let me just take it out and add my own button. Android ID. with much experience I'll do the same for you let me just write something about it next button one and then Let me just change to a linear layout. And then give it an orientation. Vertical orientation. So we have button one and button two. That's for our first fragment. So I will go ahead and create our second fragment. Second fragment. I don't need these two for now. So finish. So for my second fragment, I'll create a text view. Just two text views. I'll use linear layout. Um, one. Two ID ID TV one ID TV two orientation vertical. Why isn't the next one showing up? Uh, Okay, let me just change the strings. Hello. Hello. All right, still it's not showing up, but uh, let me just head on to. So I forgot to um, initialize the variables in the first layout. So view V is equal to inflate or inflate. And then we return a V. And then we set our buttons. So um button BTN1 is equal to button 
we does find view by id how does id dot btn1 uh, i need to import it so i'll do the same for button 2 so button 2 right i don't know what i should set on click listeners but then i'm not going to do anything like that okay let me just set on click let me set on click listeners for them set on click listen at this button 2 that set on click listen at this implements So switch here guy case uh I need a button one. I'm just toast. activity matching one click oh oops I'll do the same for button two so you see that button two click okay so you are done here okay so the next thing we we need to do is I'll not do the same for the second fragment I'll just leave the second fragment blank but the next thing we need to do is we need to go to our menu um, folder we need to get to activity main drawer these are the menu items in the navigation drawer so we don't we don't need most of it so i'm just going to take this part out and I'll also take these two out so we're always working on this so this one is first fragments this is the first fragments menu and this is also the second fragment second fragment and i don't i don't need any icon for now same here okay so now that we're done we head back to our main activity and then with the main activity we'll have to change these to the ids since they represent the menu second family we don't need the rest of these i'll take those out as well and then we add this bit of code to for um this id first fragments so this is going to replace the frame with the first fragment so you can see first fragment, fragment is equal to new fragment fragment transaction is going to replace the um, frame layout with this first fragment and then we commit to the fragment transaction so I'm going to set the title to first fragment I'll do the same for the second fragment I'll just change it to second fragment and then repeat the same thing here like this yeah so now what we want to do is um when our application starts up it's going to show nothing it's, it's not going to show any fragment at all so we are going to add this to our own crates in the menu in the main activity so we do that here just put it right here and then we are done um, and what you need to know is that this is the tag for the first fragment so we can use it to for our back stack and all that we need to go back to fragment one if you're on fragment two okay so the next thing with this run this application okay so I have my first fragment open my activity open Oh, I forgot to change the names here. You can see that when you navigate to the first fragment, it tells you first fragment, and then when you go to the second fragment, it tells the second fragment. But let me just do one more change. Um, I didn't change the name here. So, first fragment. And I'll do the same for here. 
second fragment. So I'll rerun my code again. Okay, so you can see that um, I have first fragment showing, you, second fragment showing. You. When I click on the button, but one click. Very successful on click listener for button two. But well, you guys can see that it works. So, if you like this video, kindly subscribe.